go. This one's for you. Yeah. You heard it want me dead, better tell him wait Cause I'm hot now, I'm in the devil's way This is God's plan, so you better pray Gotta watch it now with a bitter face Been a hot boy since my juvie days Prison time had me eating trays I'm a gladiator, been to YA Did 15 and got my life straight Homies turned on me like I'm pie face Kept on with that blind faith That gang lock didn't pay good So I hit the booth and tried to my way Hey yo, what's good with everybody, man? I hope everybody's having a productive day Feeling blessed and like I always say It's one life, one chance We only got one chance to do this right Let's get it done Y'all ready for a funny video? Because, uh I've uh, been doing a lot of serious content. I know y'all like my videos. I mean, I don't know why you torta tales are very popular, but um, you guys get a kick out of them, man. I like reading the comment section, making you guys get your gig along. So let's get into this story, right? This story is a funny one. It's embarrassing at the same time, and I'm a dirtbag skeezer for what I did. But you guys got to understand my perspective and where I was coming from and the decision that I made to ruin this girl's life for a day. But I ruined it because she ruined mine and she ruined my dog too. I'll never forgive her that. I love my dog. So let's get into the video. So bam, man, I'm on Facebook, all right, chilling. You know, I get my followers up from, you know, posting on Reels and, you know, I get my little friend request every now and then. So boom, this girl hits me up and I see her profile. No, dude, she had a cute little face. Cute little thug life face, little miss. Hey, man, I swear to God, every now, every, just every girl I've ever talked to in the last past year got criminal records. They got criminal backgrounds. Man, they, they connected to the cartel, man. They done scammed their baby daddies. They done scammed their own mans. They scammed their side dudes. They done went to prison. Like, bro, do I just attract these kind of women, bro? Just, I'm, I'm not that. I'm not him no more. I am not him. I'm him in a sense where I'm a cool dude. I'm a great guy, great father. You know, probably gonna be a great husband one day, but still, you know what I mean? I don't want I don't want thugs, bro. I've been a thug, man. I don't wanna date myself. Alright, but you know, nowadays you see women with clown tattoo paint on them, big old old English letters across their stomachs that say batty or tortillana or feed me across the stomach in old English letters. It's a trip, man. All the thugs you see out here that are all women, all gang related out, you know, what's up, fool? You're from Florencia, I'm from Butu San Jonera. I'm like why not get off, bro? Just be a woman, please. All right, so I meet this girl, and uh, I like I said, I seen her profile page, and I'm like, dude, she got a cute little you know profile picture. All right, so I go through her pictures, and I seen her uh, uh, Facebook stories, and I'm like, dang, gosh, she has some tattoos, man. She looks hot. That's what's up. Do I slide? Do I look thirsty? Do I seem desperate? Nah, I'm gonna play the I'm gonna play the role. She friend requested me, man. So you chasing me, you're gonna do the honors and to chase me until your feet bleed, all right? Because you follow you, I didn't find you. I didn't go out my way to friend request you. You friend requested me, man. So now it's your obligation. It's 2024. I ain't gotta chase, bro. You better game me up, you better raise me up. So sure enough, man, she slides in my DMs and she, she's like, hey, what's good? What's up with you? So I'm like, what's up with you? And it was just small dialogue, and I was like, hold on real quick, man. I need to verify if you're a human, if you're not a bot. I asked a couple of questions. She answered them a certain way, like in certain today's slang and language with emojis. I was like, cool, you're not a bot. So I verified that, but you are a bot because, you know, you don't look like you got going on. If you could take 32 selfies in a day, you ain't got a lot going on. I don't really care what you say. So bam, hit her up, see what she's up to, see what she's doing. Got to get to know her life a little bit. Little Miss Thug Life uh, went on a high speed chase, and um, with one of her homies, they were all spadackled out, and he threw her the sack, and she tried to put it in some place where it didn't belong, and she got caught, and she went down for it. Did I think it was two years in the prison system, and I was like, oh my god, bro, I'm, I've never dated a girl on an ankle monitor, bro, but this should be interesting, bro, because she really I could do whatever I want. I can even steal from her house, but the moment I run out, that thing gonna go off and be like, bro, probation? Parole finna come for you. you better get your get back in the house, bro. You can't follow me around. And if they do, they're gonna monitor everywhere you went. And you know, that's physical assault, bro. You're going back to jail. 25 a lot, girl. I don't think you wanna do that for this TV. You sure? You sure? So, you know, I was just like, all right, let's see what let's see what's up with it. Let's see. I mean, people gave me a chance. I'm gonna give her a chance. I wanna see what a dookie, right? So Start chopping it up, hearing her background story. Says she's sober, says she's clean. And then I FaceTimed her one time and 
she was laying on her stomach. She had like a black t-shirt on, hair not dead, kind of long, no makeup. She didn't look bad with makeup, but it's because she was laying on her bed, just like playing with her hair, like, what's up? So I seen all the, you know, the, her, her girls out there, man, you know what I mean? It's just, you know, all chichoing out out, like just bouncing around every time she moved. I was like, oh yeah, look at the size of them babies right there. Hell yeah, is she cute? She got long hair, she got big boobs. She met all the qualifications for a one-nighter, mandatory. So I'm asking her, hey man, what you doing this weekend? She goes, I work all week, but you know, I'm off on the weekend. I go with them, be dressed, be ready finna slide through she's like okay i will woo, woo so I'm, I'm it's like on a wednesday i'm like thursday finna come friday finna come saturday morning i'm finna wake up and get g'd up finna feed up throwing my my air forces and i'm throwing my white tee i'm throwing a hat and i'm throwing some cologne you know what i mean I'm finna do what it do i got like maybe 200 dollars i can blow freely that's food that's dinner that's a couple of this couple of that whatever call her up i'm like man you getting dressed she's always yeah i'm gonna get in the shower I was like, all right, put something nice on. We're going to be out all day. You know, so I'm getting G'd up, man. I take pride in my appearance, man. If I'm going to meet a girl, man, I want her to, I'm going to show her, man, that I come with proper presentations, man. You know what I mean? My PowerPoint's on flex, right? So I get dressed, get in my car. I was like, slide to Addy. You should be dressed by the time I get there. She's like, all right, cool. Should I wear this or should I wear this? And she's showing me these outfits and I'm like, I wear the black dress. I wear the black dress. Hell yeah. So, bam, I pick her up. <sighs> I don't know how this went haywire from the moment I picked her up. So, she gets me to her spot, and I get there, and I'm like, I'm outside. Dude, I didn't give you about an, almost an hour to get dressed. It took me an hour to get there, to drive there. And plus, I had gave her a warning when I was getting dressed and jumping in the shower. But, you know, guys, man, we get dressed like in 10 minutes, women, 42 hours. It's like the first 48 when women get dressed, bro. They got to murder the bathroom. They got to murder the shower with hair on the wall. They got to do everything. Every toe got to be in alignment. Every fingernail got to be shaved down, filed down, properly painted. The lipstick got to be on point. And then once they put the lipstick on point, they, they don't even talk. They don't even smile because they don't want to ruin it. So they're just talking without moving their lips. Just look like iguanas. So I go to her pad and I'm like, I'm outside. But my homegirl made me wait like 15 minutes in the car. I done went through four songs by EBK J Bo. And I'm like, man, man, where this chick at? So I'm like, hold on, bro. This might be a setup, bro. She might know I'm YouTube famous. So I'm looking around like, cars coming. I'm like, window on tent. Like, man, where this girl at, man? Like, and then she comes out of nowhere, bro, looking like Beetlejuice with her. Pale skin and her black makeup, all gothic. Straight Beetlejuice. Hair even looked like Beetlejuice. So I'm like, did she just wake up and just roll out of bed and just grab the, some contour or something or Maybelline or whatever the girls wear that on their face? Blush foundation just went like this. Like Mrs. Doubtfire and just put it all on her face. Because it wasn't smeared properly. I think the eyeliner she was wearing and the lipstick was from the other night. Just didn't look right, bro. It really didn't look right. It looked like she just got just like skid marks on the road. It was just everywhere. So I see the dress that she puts on. She puts on the dress and the shoes that I noticed, honestly, bro, her, those shoes had to be from like a thrift store. Now you wear a dress, you're going to wear some heels. The whole purpose of a dress, bro, is to dress up nice, casual. You know, you're going to put heels, open toes. What the, what the hell ever? There were some beat up sketchers on this black dress. Beat up sketchers. And I, when I mean beat up, bro, I mean beat up thrift store beat up sketchers. So she gets in my car and I'm like, hey, what's up, man? Nice to meet you, man. I'm glad you came. Whoa, whoa. Faking the funk because I'm like, Beetlejuice don't know how to dress and he's a cross dresser. Oh, God damn it. Whatever. I'm like, all right, man. Well, she's like, what are we going to do? I was like, well, we're going to hit the mall real quick. You know, there's a, you know, get some chocolate, you know, just something small, bro. So, bam, I take her to the mall. We're getting to know each other. I'm driving, so I'm not really looking at her face. Didn't feel like it. So, I'm just driving, having a great conversation, getting to know each other, right? We go to the mall, hit the mall. And, dude, this is how embarrassed I was. Yeah, I'm shaking right here. I was so embarrassed that she was walking around in this nice little dress with some half-done makeup 
and beat up Skechers. I was like, bro, homegirl look busted and disgusted, bro. Like, I'm looking decent. I'm looking proper. I'm looking presentable. And homegirl just, just, just looked like she walked out of a halfway house of a women's battered shelter, bro. I just was like, no, no, no. What did I do? Stop that. Uh, I, think, I can't remember what it was. Uh, I think it was Bella's or Bayaz or something like that or Bella Rose or something like that. And it was just girl shoes for like 30, 40 bucks, 30% off. I was like, cool, save me a dollar because that 30% means a lot right now because I got a 30% chance that I'm going to run out on this girl if she don't put on some different shoes. So I'm looking at shoes and I'm pointing out like, what's your, what's your shoe size? And she's like, oh, I'm an A, little big foot. So I'm like, all right, cool. Dang, so we find, I'm, I'm picking out all these cute little slippers and she picks out some open toes. Bam, bro, like her toes were ashy between the toes. She tried to paint them to look cute, but homegirl needed some lotion, bro, like some cocoa butter bad, bro. And not not just on the, not the bottom of the feet, but it was like in between the toes a little bit and the back of the ankles. No embarrassment. She took off those shoes, put them on, put on the slippers, paid for them, $40. Just so I can look a little bit decent with this woman in public, right? But you know, there's an end goal here, all right? There's an end goal, man. I'm trying to clap something. I don't want to catch the clap, but I want to clap something. So we're walking around, right? And she put the shoes on and then she put those uh, beat up shoes from Thrift in the bag that we paid for for the other shoes. And the moment we walked past the trash can, I was like, hey, let me see, let me, see. Let me hold the bag for you. She goes, oh my God, thank you. And I think, bang, that thing ran in a trash bag in the mall. And she's like, <laughs> she starts laughing. She goes, really? I go, man, them things were busted, dude. Them things were already about to start talking. They look worn now. They look like green mildew was just coming out of cartoon smoke. I was not, mm -mm, just get it out of my car. You shouldn't even got put in my car in the first place. I had a brand new car. So take her around. We eat some frozen yogurt with like fruit. It was pretty good. You can like customize it. It was someplace in Fresno. I can't remember what it's called, but it was like, uh, like you, you could buy yogurt and you could put like, you know, little nuts and fruit or Skittles or M&Ms or gummy worms. It was one of those places. So we go there and we eat. We get to know each other. Everything's looking good. Everything's looking gravy. I'm like, all right, cool. That's, that's what's up. We're having a great time. Took her out to eat. Fed her. Fed her little tummy. She didn't really eat that much. I devoured it. I devoured everything on my plate. I didn't care how I looked. If I looked like a gorilla in the cage, just starving. Tore it up. So at the last minute, she's like, uh, what do you want to do now? And I was like, oh, I mean, we can slide back to my pad. You know what I mean? I really ain't got that much plans. We can go watch a movie at the pad. She was like, that's cool. That's cool. But uh, I got work in the morning. Uh, I, they call me in. So I have to be home by five in the morning. I'm like, Uber. You ain't waking me up at five in the morning on my day off. Uber, Charlie. I mean, you can walk or Uber. One or the other, bro. I don't care, bro. But I'm like, so, you know, I have to convince her. Like, yeah, man, I got you, bro. I got you. I got your back. We don't even trip. So, bam. We're driving towards my spot. Going back to uh, where I was living. And um, I see this store called Hustlers. It's a freak store. So, I'm like, bet. Bet I'm popping some stuff. I'm gonna go give me some boner pills, bro, or some boner juice or some boner honey. So she, she and she's like, "What are we doing here?" I was like, "No, nah, I just want to try out some stuff. I want to check out some stuff. You good with that?" I wanted to see if she was listening, gonna let me hit it that night. She was like, "Yeah, sure, come on." So she's all browsing around, looking at like you know furry cuffs. I'm over at the other aisle, like, "Oh man, I could put this on my thing and it vibrates." Need it. Need it. Oh, I got to buy batteries for it? Cool. Man, they had this big old sex doll right there, just chilling right there. It was all butt naked, and I'm all like, are they real? Feels real. Put my finger in her mouth, like, oh, it does feel real. Shook it from the back. I was like, okay, this is cool. And she's just watching me like, this fool's a little kid. He's a goofball. And then we got to the place where it shows the mandingos, the, the mangueras, bro, the, 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 the missile launchers, and I'm like, I don't want to be in this section, bro. It's ugly, bro. And so we're just chopping it up, and she's, like, browsing around, like, touching them through the plastic. And I'm just looking at her like, oh, damn. She needs big old pipes. She wants a totem pole. Damn, man, she's going to be highly disappointed. 
highly disappointed when I whip out my Twizzler, my skinny little thing. Look like a little, well, what a licorice. So I'm just looking at her and she's, I'm like, which one's your type? Which one's your type? And she's just kind of like, this one's nice. I looked at that thing like, God, bro, what is that, a corn on a cob, bro? That thing is huge, bro, that's your type? I ain't finna do nothing. I ain't penetrating no walls, bro. I ain't touching nothing. I just needed to see her preference. So she's just like going around looking at stuff. Then she goes to these crazy vibrators that look like cactuses. And I was just like, ah, oh, dude, maybe I, I think I just, I, reality check. I'm, I'm a freak, but not that much of a freak. Because once you start seeing girls true colors, like what they into, what they want, what they enjoy in bed, what they do by themselves when they don't need us because we ain't crap. Because we boo-boo when only last two minutes or 30 pumps or not even that. When you start to see what it takes them to get them off, their selections, their preferences, their choice of zzz, hair clippers. It's a humbling experience, bro. Put it like that. It's a humbling experience. So she's like telling me, oh, I would get this if I could. I would use that. I would use this. This is nice. Oh, look at this. And I'm just like, man, let's get out of here, bro. So I go up to the counter, right? And I was like, hey, um, you got anything to make you last longer in bed? Like, you know, something that's extensive, you know, keeps the blood flowing. And they go, yeah, right. So they start putting all these selections of these different tubes. And she goes, this is a popular one. A lot of people come in at night before the store closes and they buy a couple of these and they usually go get beer afterwards. I was like, oh, so tweakers? She's like, yeah, pretty much. A bunch of tweakers buy all these. I was like, let me get two of those. I had like a teddy bear on it. So let me get two of those. Two. You know, I'm trying to wear her out before five o'clock. So I buy two and she's looking at me and she goes, oh, so it's like that? You got it like that? That's what's going to happen tonight? I go, I'm just making preparations. That's all. I'm just preparing in the event. So we're driving back to my pad. It's like a 30 minute drive. And I'm looking at her and she's looking at me and I'm digging in the bag and I pulled out the little bear tube and I'm like, peel the cap off, fling it off. I'm like, and she's just giggling, bro. She's laughing. And she's like, seriously? You think so? I'm just saying, though. I like honey. You know, I usually put honey in my tea. But if it happens, it happens. Just let it happen. You know, I'm all talking to her all exotic and provocative. We get to the pad. Uh, I, I didn't know how to, uh, I don't know how to door dash. To this day, I don't know how to door dash. So I had to door dash some, like, snacks, some food and stuff like that. So I had to door dash some food and stuff like that. Cool, we had some snacks and, you know, stuff to eat, stuff to munch on. We wind up watching a movie. We're chilling. And I was like, all right. I don't feel this boner liquid really kicking in. Do I have to get aroused first to do this? Do I really have to get aroused to do this? All right, let me, let me try something. So, bam, I kissed her on her neck real quick and look at her. She didn't resist. Then I kissed her on her cheek and she kind of went in on it. I was like, cool. Then I reached over there and I kind of put my hand on her neck and she goes... All women do. As soon as you touch their neck, they're like, oh, squeeze. So I was like, oh, it's over with. Got her. Once her chest popped up and I seen the, the, the boobies go up in the air, I was like, Mando, it's going down. So bam, I get on top of her, kissing on her, kissing on her neck, kissing on her chest, kissing through the clothes. But once I got to her stomach, because I had plans on lifting up the dress and eating out the cooter, once I got to the stomach of the dress, it smelled so rotten like mildew. Like, straight throw up. Oh, my God. I was like... Ugh. What the fuck is that smell? It was bad, dude. Real bad. So, I finally couldn't take it no more. You know, I'm rubbing the thighs. I'm getting her riled up. I'm getting her all hot and bothered and moist. And finally, I was like, hey, yo. Hey, man, take a dress off. So, immediately, they just came off the... She throws it. As soon as she threw it, I went over there, picked it up, and I sat on the bed and I go, Hey, why does this smell like that? And she goes, Smell like what? And I was like, Put it to her face. I almost smothered her with it. And she's like, well, I think this is one of those dresses I didn't wash. I was like, Oh, you, do oh, please tell me you washed your ass. Please tell me you washed your ass, Bear because that's foul. Really foul. You're you're smearing mildew all on my sheets. I take pride in my bed sheets, all right? So I look at it like, all right. She goes, here, just put it over there in the corner. And she throws it in the corner. I was like, yeah, I don't want to know what your room looked like at all. Because you threw it in the corner of my, man. You couldn't fold it up because you got to 
Whatever, bro. I don't even want to pick a fight with it right now. It's going down in the DM. I don't feel like doing it. So I have a little dog. Little, little, little dog. And uh, my little, I swear, dude. I don't know if dogs can read this. But I you know he jumped on the bed when she was naked. And literally, he walked up to her, smelt her for a little bit. And gave her the most dustiest, ugliest look ever. And my dog went. Looked at me and just looked at me with this guilt trip like, bro really gonna do this bro like this is how low you've gotten i'm gonna go tell everybody bro what the hell you're doing bro this is bad right now and just walked away but my dog stood at the door where her dress was smelt it and then just walked away and stood by the door and was staring at us so i'm like so don't judge me bro you hump anything bro so do i doggy dog world right hand my scandal pretty it was pretty good it was pretty good but for some reason her wearing that dress all day her body was okay, but her stomach, I felt like the aroma from her stomach was just crawling up and I can smell the dress on her stomach, smelling like, you know, vomit or venereal, whatever the little smell it was. So I'm just like, you know, doing my thing. And I'm just like, God, it stinks, bro. It smells like throw up, like baby throw up in here. But I'm doing my thing. Finish. Cool. That little tube kicked in. I'm like, cool, man. I might go over another round. I was like, nope, I'm flipping her over, bro. I don't want to smell that throw up, bro. I, I don't want to smell that throw up on her stomach. I, I Maybe I just got stuck in my nose, bro, and it was just on my upper lip resonating. You know, I got now her juice and her stomach's all, you know, being marinated together, being whatever, bro. It was just pretty gross experience. Bent her over later, about maybe 30 minutes later after we snacked out. Great butt, bro. She had a nice voluptuous butt. But if I feel like the the smell from her stomach, all it did was slide on her back and was just laying on her back like, smell me, smell me. And I'm just like, God, why does this girl smell like that damn dress, bro? But she's been, it's been hugging her body all day. I do my thing, boom, lay down. My dog jumps up back up on the bed, sits there between us, stares at her for a while, and it gives me that dumb puppy look like, Really, bro, she's on our bed. This is where we sleep. It stinks in here. For real. Mm -mm. So she's like, come here, puppy. She tried to pet him. And every time she would... My dog's a friendly dog, bro. He'll, he'll come up to you and lay on your lap and let you cut, scratch his stomach, play with him, all that. Just the moment she tried to touch him, he was like... Man, keep your dirty fingers off me, bro. Get up off me. And then he slid next to me, and he it was in my armpit, and I'm petting him. I was like, it's okay, Papa. You can go lay, lay with her. And she tried to pet him again, and that, like she was scratching him, and he just tensed up, looked at her, and looked at me like, man, save me from this bra, bro. This bra stinks. I wouldn't even hump this, bro. And I'm a dog. I'm a dog. So I started feeling guilty. I was like, damn, dude, this kind of sucks, man. Like, my dog's friendly, bro, but he's treating her like crap. Like, man, I'm a dog your ass out, bro. Like, I don't want nothing to do with you, bro. Play, mm-mm, mm-mm. Not, not in my best doggy years. So I'm like, man, leave my dog alone, bro. So we chill. We only went two rounds. I wind up passing out. She passes out. She wakes me up at four. I'm like, man, what was it? Like, three or four? I thought she was waking me up because I'm the type of person, for all you ladies out there that want to date me in the near future, I'm the type of person, bro, once we get under the covers together, I'm hogging all the covers. I will wrap myself up like a little taquito, and you're going to have no covers, and don't wake me up. Don't bother me. Sorry. I gave you a couple of rounds. I deserve the blankets. Just how I think. So I'm thinking she's waking me up, and she goes, hey, you need to drop me off. I'm like, damn, man, I knew this was going to happen. So I go to the refrigerator, pop open a Red Bull, pound it. It's going to be a long drive. I drive her all the way over there. I'm driving back. I woke up. I rolled the windows down. It's, you know, barely light coming out. I'm like, man, it feels fresh right now. I kind of like it. I can go home and crash out for about three, four hours and then wake up, have a couple hours of myself and go to work. Man, as soon as I get home, she calls me. I'm like, man, what's up, man? Did you leave something here? Because that's usually what girls call me for when I drop them off. It's like, oh, I left my glasses or I left my this, I left my that, I left la, 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 la. And I'll be like, Oh, well, I'm selling it on Craigslist or on eBay. But sure enough, she's like, hey, I need a favor. I was like, what's the favor? She goes, I was getting in my car to go to work, and my car doesn't want to start. I don't know why. I don't know what the problem is, but can you shoot me some money so I can get to work and I'll pay you back? 
I was like, hell no, nah, bro. I didn't spend hell. I done bought you shoes. You done smear throw up on my bed. I bought you snacks. I bought these tubes for so I can handle my business with you. So I gave you the ultimate pleasure of, you know, maybe two five minute rounds, but of good, decent rounds. I ain't cash up in you a damn thing, bro. So I was like, man, I ain't even got it like that, man. The money that I had to spend last night, I spent it on you. We went out to eat. You know, I ain't got it like that. What's left is what's left. And she goes, really? For real? Come on, man. I need some help. She's like begging me on the phone. Like, I really need to get to work. I'm going to lose my job. I was like, yeah, I'm sorry, man. I don't even know what to tell you, though. I really don't know what to tell you. Oh, dude, she flipped her gas casket. She was like, oh, that, 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 that's how it's going to be. You just wanted to hit it, this and this and that. And I let you. You're, you're an asshole. You're this, you're that. Don't even call me no more. And I was like, I bet. And that was it, bro. She called me like maybe three weeks later and I kicked it with her two more times. But I swear, bro, I swear those two times we kicked it, I was, I, I purposely found a reason to kind of be like, all right, what's up? Why you doing, man? Sorry about what happened. I found reasons to smell. But the two times we kicked it, I didn't hit it. It was just one of those, like, I didn't want her to seem like I saw that I wanted her for. I was just like, she was cool peeps. It was somebody to kick it with for a few hours. We'd go have fun. We'd giggle. And then I would drop her off and... That was it. Obviously, I had to pick her up and drop her off because she got a beat up bucket that wouldn't even start. But I didn't hit it the other two times. It was just she was cool people to kick it with. She had she was a great conversationalist. It's just that day she wore a throw up dress like the dress that was on the movie Exorcist when she threw up in bed. That's what it was like. She threw up in her dress and smeared it off, cleaned it up, tried to cover it up with some scent. And I smelled all of it. My dog smelled all of it. She traumatized my damn dog, bro. Ever since then, my dog's been judgmental. When he sees a girl walking, he's like, bro, she gonna stink, bro. Or she on her period, bro. One or the other, bro. Because I can smell it. I can smell everything that walks in, bro. So just let me know, bro. So I can just go underneath the bed and not really pay attention, not get involved. And I don't wanna, I don't wanna, I don't wanna hold your secrets any longer. So my dog's been real judgmental ever since. But I thought I'd share that story with you guys, all right? So with that being said, like I always say, it's one life, one chance. When you got one chance to do this right, let's get it done. Peace.